Well, Curtis Honeycutt is an award-winning writer, and his column, The Grammar Guy, appears in newspapers across the country. He's written a book called Good Grammar is the Life of the Party, and he joins us now. Good morning. Hey, Tracy. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, uh, the book, it, was it inspired by the column, or is it a, is it a culmination of the columns? How'd you put this together? <laughs> Yeah, a little, a little bit of both. Um, so really, I'm just trying to channel my inner Dick Wolfsey here. Um, got the column thing going, and then I, you know, figure out how to um, how to make the content um, really sing. And so um, I would say about half of it is column content, and then I added intros, kind of strung it together, and I've broken it into sections on ways that uh, good grammar can really help your life. So, how did you get down this path of being the grammar guy? Yeah, good question. So my local paper here in the Indy North suburbs is called The Current, and a, a little over two years ago, they had a call out for a new grammar columnist. So I submitted my uh, best column, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this in a way that is a little different than I think other people would write a grammar column. It's going to be funny, I hope, and it's going to be positive and not judgmental. And so I really bring... Um, humor and uh, positivity like you know good grammar can help everyone's life um, and not just like don't do this um, so I try to bring that to my column grammar guy which is in um, several central Indiana newspapers um, and I try to bring that to my book as well look, oh there it is <laughs> well wow, look at that right there that was incredibly that? that was incredibly convenient look at that so it's not a textbook it's not a dry read and that's that's on purpose right Correct. Yeah. In fact, uh, Tracy, uh, you know, I I make some bold claims in this book, oh. including the fact that good grammar can not only help you get hired for a job and promoted, but it can also help your love life. <laughs> now, throughout my entire life, I've heard uh, kids, myself at times, say to a parent or a teacher, when am I ever going to use this math? You, you know, I have that same argument with grammar. It is used every day. We're speaking right now. I'm actually being a little cautious. I want to make sure I don't <laughs> dramatically trip talking to you about it. But people really do perceive other people differently based on how well they use grammar, right? Yeah. So a couple examples of some studies. Um, uh, there was a Grammarly study that looked at people's LinkedIn profiles, and they found that employees who had fewer grammar errors in their profiles reached higher positions in their companies and also got promoted in a shorter amount of time. So... <laughs> Uh, this makes a good grad gift. People looking for jobs, whether people are graduating high school or college, I know that looks differently this year, but this makes a great graduation book, as well as, man, you want to date? Uh, there have been multiple studies of people's online dating profiles, and they've concluded that women find poor spelling, grammar, and punctuation to be a big turnoff. So you're more likely to get a good date if your grammar game is on point. I love the idea because let's, let's, let's be honest. I, I think I got four dictionaries when I graduated from high school, and you know, seven thesar, thesar, What's the plural of thesaurus? Thesaurus? Thesauri? Thesauri? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This would be great. This, it, like you say, it's a fun read. So, where is it available? Um, it is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, uh, on my website as well. Um, People can order it directly from me. If you're in central Indiana, you can order it directly from my website, and I'll sign it, and I'll even deliver it contact-free. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. You said you're not being judgmental and, and not scolding people, but is there one or two common grammatical things that really just sort of make your head tweak a little? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, and it happens to be, you know, we're online all the time, we're texting, we're doing social media, and it's people using the wrong there, using mm -hmm. the wrong you or And honestly, your HR rep, man, if you're, if you're applying for a job, they're looking at your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, and you know what? You could lose, <laughs> you could lose that job if you either, you know, post crazy pictures or if you spell like a moron, to be honestly, and I want to encourage people, you know what, a, a rising tide lifts all ships. If everyone has good grammar, then everyone's life will be better. So I don't want you to lose that job. I, I appreciate that. I, I've always uh, drawn to the conclusion, I think autocorrect has made us dumber because we assume it's going to fill in the right thing and then we just move on and then it's there forever, right? For sure. Um, yeah, and in fact, I've got a, I, I think I did an article a few years back, and Apple still has not fixed this. Um, if you type in, um, Garfield likes to eat lasagna on Mondays, it will add an apostrophe between mm -hmm. the Y and the S of Mondays, and 
that's not right. The Monday does not own anything right. in that sentence. The so, the, they still haven't fixed that glitch. The, the wrongful apostrophe is, is my judgy thing. CurtisHoneycutt.com, that's with two Ts. We'll put the link on IndyStyle.tv. Congratulations on the book, sir. Great. Thanks, Tracy. All right. Take care.